Hi, good evening. Hi, guys. Es un placer conocerlos. My name is Luis. Yo seré su, su teacher durante todo este mes, guys. Mm -hmm. eh, muy bien, ya casi es hora de empezar. Vamos a ver cuántos hay. Veo que vemos poco. Muy bien. Daremos un tres minutos de, de indulgencia para que puedan entrar los demás. De antemano les agradezco a todos ustedes que han podido estar on time. Y pues, eh, mientras pasan esos tres minutos, conozcámoslos. Eh, okay. Empezaré yo. Well, my name is Luis. Uh, I am 30 years old. Oh, 32 years old. And I work in a call center and I am a teacher too. Como lo escucharon, guys, eh, ustedes, he eh, visto que están ya en el nivel preavanzado, quisiera que se introdujeran a sí mismos y me dijeran su nombre, su edad, And what do you do for a living? Please, your name. How old are you? And what do you do for a living? Please. Eh, vamos a comenzar con... Vamos a ver. Con la señorita Brandy, creo que es, o Brenda. Brandy. As you can see. I'm sorry, my apologies, Miss Brandy. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Brandy Krolche, and I'm 39 years old. Um, for living, I have a small like uh, it's a grocery store, so like uh, like a one super selected brand, it's small. <laughs> um, um, mini market. Yeah, I, I think the name is a uh, grocery store. Uh, it's mm -hmm. like a you, you know, <laughs> in, in town you can see this uh, when you can buy beans, rice, snack, a beverage. And, uh, and as you can see, my last name is not common because I'm getting married last year. So um, this is my husband. Last name is Krolchen. He is from the United States. Uh, but the this uh, last name is from... Uh, how do you say Polonia? I forgot. Poland. Poland. He uh, is mm -hmm. Poland. Um, mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. uh, some kind of like a tongue twister if somebody tried to pronounce the first time. <laughs> Believe me, when I see it's crow C. Am I right? No. Can no. you just can you repeat uh, one more time, please? Okay. Can you? Pronounce like how this uh, a kind of bird is a like troll. 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 And check. Crow check. Yeah, that's right. You got it. Oh, that's that's nice. Uh, uh, a first view. Believe me, <laughs> I I do not recognize how do I pronounce uh, your crochet. Okay, troll. thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Brandy. In this kind of cases. Because you are the first one, you will pick one of our volunteer. <laughs> mm, Jaime, because it's the first time that I'm seeing him. Okay, Jaime, go Jaime ahead. Roberto you. Beltran. Yes. Uh, hello, hello, partners and teacher. My name is Jaime Aldana. I'm 27 years old. Uh, I work making builds at a company what is called that is called La Unica. And that's it. That's what I do for a living. And I'm studying as well. Mm, that's perfect. It's like yes. a butcher company. Am I right? Uh, sorry, uh, butcher? Butcher. Uh, is it a, it a place to sell like uh, ham? Yes. Sausage? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, yes, I understand. Thank you. Yes, uh, that company is is about that type of products. That's perfect, Jaime. Uh, may I ask you to you, uh, what are your duties there? Uh, I am responsible for making the bills of every every store in the 
in the country. Uh, mm -hmm. I am responsible for making like stock movements in the system of the business one. And uh, yes, uh, uh, mm -hmm. yes, I, I work with, with those type of, of documents. That's so great and interesting, believe me. It sounds amazing. Uh, uh, yes, because my my job just is in front of a, a computer all the day. And um, mm -hmm. when I when you said the kind of things, it looks more interesting. Well, yeah, Jaime, would you like to be called Jaime or Rob? Robert. I think you can call me a uh, well, uh, sorry. I think you can call me uh, the, the name that you feel more comfortable because always when I am uh, when I am introducing myself, uh, sometimes people for, forget my name. So that's why always I say that you can call me, <laughs> you can call me the name that you remember. Yeah, oh, you can call me Robert <laughs> or... Or Jaime. Jaime. Uh, he's Jaime. My yeah, name is because... Luis. <laughs> Luis. Your name is because Luis. I can see because say English corporativo. Yes. Unfortunately, I cannot change my name um, on the meeting. You will be able just to see English corporativo. But my name, it's, it's a little bit funny because it contains um, at least one famous name and two famous last name. My name is Luis as Luis Guerra and Guzman as Alejandra Guzman and Iglesias as Enrique Iglesias. I got also, wow. um, <laughs> yes. Uh, also I got a middle name is a little bit famous, but I don't like my middle name. And we will stop to speaking about my middle name and Jaime, let me know who will be the next one. Really? Okay. I think Julio, Julio Serrano. Julio, Mr. Serrano, yes. can you help us, please? Yes, but I don't know what to talk to about. We are right now uh, introduce ourselves. Just I need that you told me so you tell me your first name, your name, sorry. How old are you and what do you do for a living? All right. Uh, my full name is Julio Cesar Serrano Rosales. I am electrician. Uh, I am 30, 30 years old now. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, 40, 40 years ago. That's nice, that's great. Uh, Julio, uh, you said that you are, um, sorry, my uh, an electrician, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Um, do you work from a company or do you have your own company? No, I work at the, for a company at the airport. Mm. Like Aeroman, something like that, right? No, it's other company, LBS. Uh, that's, that sounds great. Thank you, Mr. Serrano. I appreciate so much your help. And let me know who will be our next participant. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me. Mm. Jancy, maybe? Jancy, Jancy okay. Melendez, go ahead. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, good evening. Um, I'm Jancy Andrea. I'm 17 years old. Um, I live in Zacatecoluca. And I'm the high school in my, in the, my last year. And 
I don't know. I like English, so. That's great. Uh, believe me, when I was 17 years old, I don't like English, but I am a teacher today. Uh, Jancy, a question. Uh, do, you, do you study or do you have a, a work too? No, I'm the high school. I'm studying. Just studying. Cool. Perfect. Okay, Jancy, go ahead and pick someone else. Okay, uh, Marina Stefani. Okay, Stefani, go ahead. Hi, good evening. My name is Marina Arevalo and I live in Tapango. Now I just study English and I am 29 years old. That's perfect. That's great. Um, so yeah, Pango. Yeah. So yeah, Pango is a beautiful place. I got some friends living there close to um, the new, the last, uh, the last mall that they opened. Se me el nombre de ese mall. I don't remember so well, but it is close to the Pagón Rojo. Mm -hmm. That's right. Close to El Paseo de Venecia. It's a beautiful place. Okay, Marina, let me know. Uh, do you want to be calling Marina or Stephanie? Marina is okay. Cool. And who will be the, in the next one, Marina? The next? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, maybe. 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 Okay. We got a Moren, a Morena, Raul. Ah, Gladys. Yes. Yeah, go ahead, Gladys. I couldn't maybe see you, teacher, Gladys. By the way, you can pronounce my name as maybe in English, uh, but it's Spanish is Mavi. And mm -hmm. I and I like the way that you can call me Mavi, please, or maybe whatever. <laughs> Okay, I'm uh, 54 years old. I work for a bank and as a beauty consultant for Medicaid Cosmetics also. And by the way, <laughs> I'm offering 10% off for purchasing some products. Mm -hmm. um, I live alone, sometimes with my mom because uh, she travels uh, often. But uh, I have two children also. They are adults. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Gladys. I like your vibe. You look <laughs> so happy. <laughs> well, uh, maybe. No, maybe, right? Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe. It's okay, Mavi. Okay, Mavi. Uh, thank you so much for letting us know that uh, you want to be called as Mavi. And thank you for all the info. You don't look like a, like a person who has 54. You look younger, <laughs> younger than that. Thanks okay, for very <laughs> late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let me know maybe who would be the next participant. Okay. I think Vanessa Esmeralda. Vanessa, can you help us, please? My name is Vanessa. I am Teddy York. I live in the Tecla. I, I have a little business. I am in the Tecla. Thank you, Vanessa. I guess it's raining close to your house because uh, the connection is a little bit bad. I listen a lot of good off on the meeting. But don't worry, if it's raining, uh, I will give it to you some steps to follow it. Y creo que esto lo voy a decir en español, guys. Antes de continuar con las presentaciones. Hay tres reglas que a mí me gusta tener en clase. Número uno, la puntualidad. Yo sé que todos trabajamos o estudiamos, tenemos nuestros deberes como seres humanos. Y para hacer, pues... <coughs> 
eh, sincero, sé que muchos de ustedes pues, tienen sus familias, tienen que atenderlas, tanto pues, con comida como con pasar tiempo con ellos, además del tráfico. Por eso, si en dado caso usted no puede estar a tiempo, por favor, avise al grupo y diga una razón de peso. Más sin embargo, con esto no quiero decir de que ah, no voy a llegar mañana a clase porque la llanta del bus va dando, va dando vuelta. No. Eh, también se va a dar tres minutos de consideración antes de, de comenzar la clase pues para que su, ustedes puedan pues, conectarse y no perderse de la información y volver a hacer un review. Segunda cosa es que cualquier técnica issues, por muy, muy eh, pequeño que sea, si usted lo mira en la plataforma, usted sabe y está 100% seguro que esa es la respuesta, háganoslo saber vía WhatsApp en el grupo. Para eso lo tenemos. ¿Cuál era la tercera? La tercera, la tercera. Ah, please. I need that you participate a lot. Recordemos que la clase va a ser pues para que nosotros aprendamos. Y si nosotros no practicamos y solo nos quedamos con la teoría, no vamos a llegar muy lejos. Nuestro cerebro es como un músculo. Si sí, díganos, Brandy. One is missing. The camera has to be on. Mm, about the camera. Eh, Acerca de eso, pues, guys, sí nos piden que tengamos la cámara activa. Más sin embargo, sé que muchos de ustedes están ocupando un dispositivo móvil para ver la, la clase. Y cuando ponemos la cámara, suele pues trabarse un poco más o tener una peor conexión. Si es de su caso, por favor, pues avísenos, díganos que está ocupando un dispositivo móvil que tiene mala conexión y que por eso pues no va a poder tener la cámara activa. Y la más importante, guys, pero esto sí, por favor, esto desde ahorita, desde ahorita a las 8.16, necesito que lo pongan en práctica, es abran su plataforma. Necesito que ustedes, si ustedes están ocupando una computadora, una laptop, una desktop, o si es posible tener en su tablet o dispositivo móvil la plataforma abierta, háganlo. Porque semana con semana iremos avanzando e iremos, pues, eh, verificando su avance conforme vaya a la plataforma. Esas son las reglas que tengo para la clase, guys. Eh, por lo demás, soy bastante comprensible. Dejo, pues, de vez en cuando tareas y me gusta, pues, incrementar su reading skill. Creo que leyendo es la mejor forma que podemos nosotros tener un mejor vocabulario. Well, guys, the advertisement is over. We will continue. The last one was Vanessa. Vanessa, let me know who will be the next participant. Let me see. Mm. Susana. Susana, can you help us, please? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Hi. Go ahead. Good okay, evening. Susana. Good evening. If you already is, uh, get into the class right now, let me tell you right now we are introduced ourselves. Just I need that you answer your name, how old are you, and what do you do for a living? Okay. My name is Susana, Susana Navarro. I work at Romero Pineda. Uh, I'm living in Guasapa. Uh, regarding of, the, of your rules, uh, I need to tell you that uh, we uh, I usually connect uh, uh, by mobile, and uh, it is possible uh, the the internet uh, interrupt on way. Okay, Susana. Uh, yes. In this case. In this case. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to uh to my home and uh it is possible I turn the camera at in in mm -hmm. twenty minutes approximately. Hmm? It's okay if you 
20 minutes or 30 minutes will be able to turn on your camera. It will be okay. Don't worry. And thank you so much for letting us know. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Vanessa. Vanessa, let me know who will be our next participant. Creo que se le cortó a Vanessa, así es que vamos a escoger por ella. Okay, mm, our next participant will be Morena. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Morena. I'm glad to be here again with us. And I'm pleasure to know my new teacher. Uh, nice to meet you, teacher. Um, I live, I live from Ciudad Versailles. I don't know uh, if someone know that place because the name of my neighbor is very strange, uh, Chanmico. <laughs> That's why always I say I live in from Ciudad Versailles because it's better known for that uh, place. I live with my husband, my daughter. I work in a call center. The lingual call center, and I feel very happy to to receive this opportunity to improve uh, this language. Thank you, Morena. Thank you so much. Let me tell you, you have a good fluence, uh, as everybody here in this meeting. Mm -hmm. I can see that all of you guys has a good a good fluence, and well. Uh, let me ask it to you, Morena. Uh, you said that um, you, you work in a call center. Yes. Mm. Yes, I have been working for 11 years, but in the Spanish account. Wow. Yeah, yeah too much time, right? <laughs> yeah, but sometimes... Mm, almost. Sometimes mm, we have some... Um, responsibility that maybe it's not easy to change past about another job, right? That's I why maybe I mm -hmm. I have all of this time to work there. It's okay, Morena. Uh, believe me, I understand so well. I was working in a call center two industry for many years too. Not mm -hmm. as you, but yes, I got a good history and many call center also bilingual or full English account. And just just let me just watch me. I I am a teacher right now. And yeah. it was uh, due to the that I practice, I try to study and I have to do all my best to be here. Well, guys, creo que solo nos queda Mr. Ortega. Mr. Ortega, ah, um, Raúl. Mr. Ortega, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. My name is Maximo Antonio Ortega. I am 58 years old. I do for living, I do for live. I work at Servicio de Alimentos. I do project. I fix machine. Only teacher. Perfect. Uh, it says food service, right? Food service. Mm -hmm. uh, but you said that you fix machine. Machine as yes. what? Uh, I... I fix machine about process of foods. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, I understand. Oh, mm -hmm. well, uh, your work is so hard. <laughs> if you have to fix that mm -hmm. kind of uh, machine that uh, process the food, uh, for example, sí. uh, the machine that uh, plays uh, or made it, the, the meal that cannot be expired if you, if you have uh, without refrigerator. I fix mm -hmm. uh, electric generators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's perfect. It's, it's a mm -hmm. great job. Thank you, mm -hmm. Raul. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Artega. It was so great. Gracias. And Thanks. the last one, but 
not the, the less important, but Raul, go ahead. It's your turn. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, partners. <clears throat> My name is Raul. Um, I am 50 years old. Um, I live in San Jacinto near uh, near San Marcos. Um, I do for a living uh, as a teacher, uh, physical education. Um, the last year I worked in a college um, in, in San Antonio Abad. Um, uh, today I, I am working uh, with some children in a college. Um, and I am uh, and my expectation my expectation in is to learn English because I want to work in a call center in the future and mm -hmm. that's why I I I and that's why I am studying in, in this module okay Raul. and thank you so much for letting us know that I appreciate so much that you are so 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 straight at the moment that you express that why are you studying English? And Thank it's you. a good goal. I I hope that all of you guys, one of my goal and my main goal is that you duplicate your knowledge and you improve your English skill. Well, and again, it was more than a pleasure to me helping to you during this model. And one more thing, Raul, let me tell you, I'm living in San Marco, close to you too. Okay, well, I will start. Please open uh, your, your platform. If you are not, please open and we'll start with an intro video. Can you listen, guys? No teacher. No, no teacher. I no can yet. listen. Listen. Eh, por favor, eso sí, lo voy a se lo voy a agradecer. Este es un enorme favor que le voy a pedir. A veces sucede lo que acaba de pasar. Puedo poner yo un video que puede durar, qué sé yo, cinco o siete minutos y no se escucha. Así es que hágame el favor de Al inicio, antes que pase los primeros 30 segundos, decirme, hey, teacher, se le olvidó activar el audio. Porque ya ha pasado que han visto todo el video en silencio y lo he tenido que volver a poner. Thank ok, for, guys. Uh, <laughs> ok, thank you, Brandy. And here, here we go. Welcome. New course, new challenges. This is okay. what we will do. We want you to watch a video. We'll call it an intro video. Everything to be learned in this section is practiced in it. We want you to watch it now and watch it at the end of the section and you will see you will understand it better. Enjoy. Norman, I've got to go to the hardware store. Room 12 really needs work. Room 12, yeah. We're expecting guests soon. So take care of them, okay? Yes, room 12. Thanks. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Anybody there? Sorry, hi. May I help you? Yes, we have reservations, Quincy, Ed and Michelle, for two nights. Yes, Mr. Quincy, uh, you're in room 12. May I help you with your luggage? Oh, no, we're okay. We, we're just staying two nights. We don't have a lot of luggage. All right, well, I'll show you the way to your room. Follow me. Oh, watch that floorboard. It's loose. Be careful. Here's the temperature control. Press this button for air conditioning. This button to turn on the heat. Adjust the temperature with this dial. 
Bathroom's right in there. My name is Norman. Give me a call if you need anything. He was strange. He just got here and I'm already feeling stressed out. Hey, does it feel cold in here to you? Yeah. Hey, look. Neba. Lo siento, chicos. Eh, veo que me preguntó ya si Andrea si solo es audio. No pueden ver el video, guys. O sí. Yeah, we can see in here. Yes, me too. I can see it. Yo veo una pantalla negra. <laughs> oh, okay. Voy a uh, reiniciar. No, voy a dejar de compartir y volver a compartir. A veces eso es. Ah, ok. Can you see it? I can see. Yeah, teacher. Me no. Ah, pues sí. Por voy favor, a, voy salga. a cargar la página. Sí. ¿Alguien habló? ¿Alguien más habló? Yeah, we can see clearly the, the video. Cool. Maybe somebody yeah. have problem because I can see and I can hear. Thank you, guys. It's stuck. I'm going to turn on the heat. This thing's broken. I'll call the front desk. Norman, we have a window that needs to be fixed, and the heat needs to be checked, too. OK, thanks. He's on his way. That was nice of him. I still think he's strange. That was quick. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's the problem? Oh, it's it's cold. Turn up the heat. The heat doesn't work. Well, what's wrong with it? The dial's broken. It came off in my hand. Well, that should do it. We'll see. That window needs fixing, too. It's stuck, and it's letting the cold air in. At least it's warming up. Yeah, but look around. The paint is cracked and peeling. The nightstand is scratched. The curtains are torn. And the rug is worn and dirty. Actually, this place is a dump. You know what? It's getting really warm in here. Norman didn't fix anything. He just turned the temperature way up, and now it's stuck on high. I can't turn the heat off. Well, open the window. I'm on it. Ed? There's no water in here. And I can't open this window. That does it. We're leaving. Something the matter? Everything's the matter. First of all, the thermostat is broken. It's too hot now. And the window is stuck, and there's no water. Everything needs to be fixed. Tell me he's not strange. Strange? He's out of his mind. Okay, guys. I'm sorry for the 
technical issues at the beginning of the video, but let me know what do you think about this video, guys? It's very funny. <laughs> Nothing works. Well, what's funny because we were watching the video, but it wasn't funny if you were leaving. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's very funny to see <laughs> that all the problems is not a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the men, and the men when when they called the men it was uh, so fast, and you you say, oh, he he was waiting for this phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, because he's, he said, ah, it's so quickly. He will do our, the best to fix that, but he didn't. Well, um, I know it's so funny, the video, but uh, let me know. What do you learn about that? Do you, did you notice uh, what was the structure that the guy was using in order to describe the problems? On the, on the room. Uh -huh, Brandy. Uh, how could they describe? For example, they say um, the window is stuck. Mm -hmm. Um, is getting hot. Mm -hmm. The and the man didn't fix the the air conditioner. We can see. We we'll see. Yeah, the air Okay. Mm -hmm. And then use uh, like uh, the temper control is broken. I don't know if this exposure is uh, okay if I hear it's, it's broken. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We, we can use broken when a, uh, a control, a remote control is not working properly. For example, uh, look at this. This is my cell phone. My cell phone looks looks okay, but I can say, hey, my cell phone is broken because it's not working the, the touch pad or it's not turning off. But that doesn't mean that it's literally broke. No. My my, my cell phone stopped working. Hey, my cell phone is broken. I need a new one. We can use that. But okay, guys, I ask into you that because the next topic that we will learn. It will be this. It's this one here. I need a volunteer to read this. Mm. Okay. Con alt y más lo puede hacer más grande la pantalla. O se puede arriba ir al zoom también. It's okay here. I see very clear. By the okay. end of this lecture, participants will be able to describe problems with past particle and adjective and without nouns. Without and with nouns. Perfect. Thank you so much, Morena. I like your fluence. <laughs> you got a good fluence. Well, as a. Uh, You're welcome. Told us, guys, uh, we will learn how to describe problem with past participle. Um, hmm. Do you know when we use past participle, guys? Mm -hmm. When we use uh, another verb that is, um, it can be with uh, verb to be. Or with mm. the verb to have? The first participle we use in action that has been already continued. For example, uh, mm, I have studied since 2016. I started studying desde ese año. You are talking about pass, but you continue doing the action. We use the past participle in that. Pero para tener una mejor idea, guys, we will watch a video. And please pay carefully attention in this video. Just a second, guys. Just a 
Hi. ¿Lo pueden ver y escuchar? Sí. Cool. Bueno, cool. Está está bien. On the following video, we will show you how to describe problems. We will do it in two ways, using past participles and using nouns. Stay and learn how. Describing problems one. With past participles as adjectives. The jacket lining is torn. The tabletop is damaged. That vase is chipped. My pants are stained. Her sunglasses are a little scratched. Their new aquarium is leaking. With nouns. It has a tear in it. There's a hole in it. There is some damage on the top. There is a chip in it. They have a stain on them. There are a few scratches on them. It has a leak in it. As we said in our intro video, we will show you two ways to describe problems. The two sets of sentences you're about to see have more or less the same meaning. We may say something is torn or has a tear in it. As you noticed in our first sentence, we use past participle, this time again acting as adjectives. This is the structure we will use, subject plus B plus past participle as adjective. My dress is torn. The other way to describe a problem is to use nouns. In this case, we must use subject plus have plus noun or there is there are plus noun. In a real sentence, this is how it would look like. My dress has a stain on it. Or there is a stain on it. Now you practice. Follow my example. My glasses are broken. Now you try. Look at these following images and choose the past participle of these verbs. Type your examples on a discussion box. Well, guys, in this kind of cases, uh, we will use in the the past participle, the verb in past participle, uh, in order as an adjective in order to describe a problem on it. What is an Past participle, uh, sorry, a verb, past participle verb as an adjective, it will be the same. You just need to add E and D at the end or D. It depends on the verb. Well, but also in this video, we will learn, uh, we already learned what are the structures in order to describe this. Just a second, guys. Okay. Okay. Okay, in the first one, we use a noun like this and verb B and the verb in past participle using as an adjective. The they have a stain on The tabletop is damaged. Another one is that base is cheap. Or the jacket lining is torn. Another way that you can express a problem on that is using this structure. There plus verb B. If we are talking about in plural, we will use R. Singular is. And after that, the nouns. And complement. Another way is first of all, a subject, then has, and after that, the nouns to describe the problem and complement. Ahora, guys, quiero saber algo antes de continuar. ¿Dudas o preguntas sobre lo que estamos viendo ahorita? ¿Do you have a doubt? 
before practicing? No, teacher. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a question. Um, I, mm -hmm. I don't know how to use the adjective as a verb in past participle. I don't understand it. Okay, Marina. The past participle. Okay. The past participle es este, mira. Este es el verbo. Pero en vez de que tú ocupes la estructura que normalmente se ocupa para hablar del past participle, tú solo lo vas a ocupar el verbo, pero como un noun. Lo vas a posicionar, pero como un adjective. Lo vas a posicionar donde debería de ir el adjective. Uh -huh. okay, And then it. It will be. ok, we will do a practice, Manina. And okay. you will be our first participant. Mm, let me. Can you tell me the el saco de boxear de Brandy está arañado o está rayado? How do you say saco de box? Question back. Mm -hmm. Boxing back. Huh? Push, punching. Pushing, come, punch, punching, punching back. Punching back. Um, mm -hmm. The brand is punching back. Is damaged? Mm -hmm. Eso sería estar dañado, pero dime que está rasgado. Mm, scratches. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Ahora, Brandy. Because you saw my my cat. <laughs> yes, I saw your cat, and I am a cat lover too. For that reason, I understand that everything. And how you know is a pushing bag? Uh, Do you uh, practice box? No, I in the in the last house that I live, uh, I got a roommate that has a punching bag. For that reason, I, I recognize the shape of your of a punching bag. Oh, okay. But he isn't an animal lover or a cat lover. In my case, I love cats. And all my sofas, my table, or everything in the cat and the house is scratched by the cat. Just <laughs> me and my. You know what the mean is scratches <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> scratches, scratches, scratches. <laughs> yes. Okay. And Brandy, you will be the next participant. You will help to, to practice. Can you tell me? La taza de Gladys está goteando. Uh, well, I can see, but I can say. Um... It's like a cup. Can you show the, your, your cup, Gladys? Podría mostrarnos su taza? Tazas. La tacita donde toma café. <laughs> vale. Esa. Mm -hmm. It's not coffee, it's a tea. <laughs> maybe it's car. Maybe it's cup. Uh, isn't it? Leaking? It's leaking. Hey, it's maybe, it's, me. It's mm -hmm. it's in, isn't it? It's in, que no está goteando, isn't it? Isn't mm -hmm. it? Pero si está goteando. Ah, uh, it's leaking. Perfect. Remember, right now we are talking about problems. Because it's leaking because it's happening at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's it leaking. has been leaking since today in the it's, morning. Things the class start. Mm -hmm. Podría decirlo así. Ahora, okay. imaginemos lo siguiente. Y voy a necesitar un participante para esto. Necesito un voluntario. They're raining. Perfect, Raúl. Okay, Raúl. If you can listen to me, please send it to us through WhatsApp. Jancy, go ahead. Uh, do you have a question? 
No. No, I just say I need a volunteer and I raise my hand. Okay. I need, Yancy, that you thought or try to imagine this. Mm. Your bathroom or the restroom is broken, has been really damaged. Quiero que me describas. ¿Cómo sería para vos que tu baño esté dañado? Problemas en tu baño. Me imagino que todos hemos tenido problemas en el mes de alguna vez. Un goteo, una fuga, un rayón, etc. Can you describe a damaged part? Maybe <laughs> uh, my restroom is covered. Está mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bueno, Correct, imaginemos sí. esto. Yo soy el plumber and you are calling to me. Uh, you are describing all the problems. Okay, Yancy, let me know what are the problems on your bathroom. Mm -hmm. Is <laughs> your bathroom is Oh, puede decir, my, my, my toilet is stuck, or the, uh, the window of my bathroom is stuck, my mirror is broken, my sink is leaking. You can see. But you say you the progress? Excuse me? O como va mejorando? O com you said progress. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. mm. I didn't say that. But you can say, uh, try to, to explain me. Oh. Dime hey, escuche que me... <laughs> ah, excuse me, can you repeat? It's okay. I can <laughs> see that you are nervous and try to keep calm. Guys, okay. I, I know when we speak English, we and other language, if you can uh, speak another language, we feel a little bit nervous. Please, in that moment, try to empty your mind. Try to calm. Why? Because if you are nervous, you won't be able to speak properly the English. You get stuck and you become freeze. Ok, en ese caso, Yancy, no te preocupes, tú serás nuestra próxima participante. Vamos a elegir a alguien más. Vamos a ver. Señor Jaime, can you help us? Yes, yes, I can. Yeah. Ok. What should I do? Mm, try to, try to mind this. Um, se metió un animal salvaje a tu cocina y la destrozó. And you are say. calling to me and you are describing to me all the damage there. Okay, I would say that an animal entered to my to my kitchen and all everything there is broken now because the the animal it turned, turned all the things damaged, I think. Mm, it's a good every, question. Everything, is everything there? It's broken, I think. Is mm. everything. Everything. Everything I, is broken. Everything. Okay. Are everything are broken? Oh, everything is broken. It's a good question. Mm -hmm. Guys, what do you think? Is or are? Is for singular or for plural? So if it uh -huh. if you see everything is plural. plural. Mm -hmm. And what would be the singular? Anything. Anything is broken. In this kind of cases, everything are broken. Okay, you can say, uh, I, I like 
the way that you express, but try to keep in mind this kind of expression. For example, an animal is not entering my house, no. An animal get into my house when it is present, it's in present. What about the past? Hey, an animal got into my house, into my kitchen, and destroy everything. My kitchen is broken. Like my you? table. Ah, it's a beautiful. Stop destroying. <laughs> Stop that destruction. <laughs> it's a big destruction that guy. But we'll continue. Ah, my table is broken. My uh, window are scratched. Also, my sink is uh, is leaking. And all my my glasses has been already broken. Podría, podemos decirlo así. Recordemos, tenemos mucho vocabulario. Ahora, vamos a tomar a otro participante. Señorita Gladys. Yes. Dígame. ¿Cómo lo podríamos decir así? O algo, algo un poquito difícil. Let me verify, let me think, guys. Quebraron toda la vajilla. Mm -hmm. Pero esto sería demasiado fácil. Yeah. Les digo. Um... How do you say vajilla? Mm -hmm. It's a good question. Let me tell you. Uh -huh. You have four minutes. <laughs> Yeah. Easy teacher, easy. Mm, it's easy. Easy. <laughs> the porcelain. I tried to help you, maybe, okay? I tried to help you. It's porcelain. Don't complicate your life and my life. <laughs> <laughs> and be patient uh, with her because she has a problem with the tooth. Yeah. Okay, is I guess porcelain. Like a porcelain? Mm -hmm. No, there are um clarity. Clarity. Como? Can you just can you type in on the on the chat please? Mm -hmm. Clarity. Mm -hmm. That's, the That's name. perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate so much that uh, maybe I can see that Jensi said that it's raining right now. Yeah, it's raining. No, teacher. Es que la corregí porque la había puesto raining con Y y le puse la I. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, it's almost time to finalize this class. Uh, I will be honest with you guys. Right now, I am not in my home. And uh, for the reason, I didn't mention this, but I got a document um, in order to help and to you. So, I have a document. I took the decision to make a document with material de apoyo for you in a PDF for the section 1 and 2. Regularmente suelo hacer las cinco lecciones, pero me gusta darle semana por semana. ¿Por qué lo hago de esta forma? Porque si yo se las doy las cinco lecciones, ustedes las van a leer de una sola vez. Y luego cuando tengan preguntas, o sea, se van a confundir. Y al momento que veamos el tema, pues no lo van a entender del todo, porque van a sacar sus conclusiones. Así que debido a eso... Haremos lo siguiente. El día de mañana, durante la tarde, esperaré enviarles ese documento al WhatsApp. Okay. 
eso sería conforme a eso y estaremos discutiendo el día de mañana nuevamente como un pequeño recap cómo describir, pues, obviamente, problemas usando el past participle as an adjective. Please, if you can make some example, do it. Because tomorrow we will practice alone. Okay, guys, and the last one. Let me know what do you okay, think about these classes. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Raul. Good night. <laughs> it's not time. It's, we have one minute more. <laughs> Until nine o'clock. It's not nine o'clock. Okay, right now it's not o'clock. <laughs> bye bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.